In this video, Neeta Ambani speaks at the graduation ceremony. In this video, I have also put English subtitles for you. This video will help you to improve your English speaking and listening skills. So, let's get started. Dear parents and grandparents, faculty and staff, and my dear children, good evening and a warm welcome to all of you. Welcome to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2015. <laughs> graduation is an exciting time. It is a new beginning and also a memorable milestone. It's about smiling at the past and believing in the future. It's a proud moment when parents see their children turn into young men and women. I congratulate all the 103 students and every parent and grandparent and teacher present here. Your dream has come true. Some people know their limit. Some define theirs. And there are some who have no limits. A school with a tomorrow inside. A place where we shape our children's future and prepare them to deal with a changing world. Where passion meets commitment. Where innovation meets education. Our school's motto is dare to dream, learn to excel. We at DAIS dream with our eyes open. For us at DIS, excellence is not a habit. It is a way of life. Because of this spirit of excellence, parents and friends, our ICSE results have just arrived and they are a further testimony to this spirit of excellence. All our children have achieved fantastic results. They have achieved an average score of 96.19%. Our school topper has scored 99.4%. Our second highest score is 99%. All our 31 children who appeared for the exams have scored about 92%. These outstanding achievements of our children exemplify their hard work and determination. Congratulations to all our children, their parents, and to our teachers for this remarkable accomplishment. The journey towards excellence does not stop here. Our IB diploma graduates have been accepted by the top universities across the world year after year. This legacy continues this year too. Our IB graduates of the class of 2015 have received admission offers from 16 of the top 25 universities worldwide. Like Oxford, Cambridge, LSE, Imperial, Stanford, Brown, Princeton and Columbia, just to name a few. Many of them are working with leading organizations across the world like Exxon, Morgan Stanley, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Reliance. Some of them are making headway with their spirit of innovation and entrepreneurship and have started new businesses and exemplary social ventures. My dear teachers, you explained complex problems with simple solutions. You taught not only from the textbooks, but from your heart. With passion and dedication, and by being more than just the teacher. I do not say this because of the excellent results our school has produced year after year. I say this because of the glow of self-confidence and self-belief on our children's faces. Their eyes say it all. Dear parents, 
thank you for entrusting your precious daughters and sons to us. Thank you for believing in us. You dropped off little toddlers to our school 12 years ago. Today, they are all sitting here in their caps and gowns as young adults ready to take on the world. I know this must be one of your proudest and most emotional moments as parents. Being a mother myself, I know how you feel. All my three children graduated from DIS too. Behind the confident young face of today, you can still see the little one who held on to your hand tightly on the first day of school. Few years back, you dropped your child here at our school with a heavy heart. Today, we feel the same. We have together witnessed their magical journey. We thank you for letting us be a part of their life. Your faith in us makes us feel humble and proud at the same time. From annual day to sports day, you have always applauded your children's performances. And today, it is their turn to applaud you, my dearest children. You have a great opportunity and responsibility. You are the future leaders. You are living in the most exciting yet challenging times. As you negotiate your life journey, do remember never to compromise on our core values. Determination and perseverance will help you to reach your goal. Integrity and trust will help in character building that will last you for a lifetime. Don't focus on success in order to be happy. Instead, be happy in order to succeed. If you are happy, you will be more positive, you will be more productive, more creative, and more compassionate. Enthusiasm and love for life will make you a better leader, a better partner, and a better person. As you step into the real world, always remember to make your family, your school, your community, your nation, and the whole world proud of you at all times. And now, it's time to say goodbye. We wish you all the very best. Our class of 2015, we will miss you all. God bless and thank you. My fellow classmates, you have allowed me to have the most wonderful and hardest opportunity to summarize our high school experience. Wonderful for obvious reasons, some of which I'll share today, and hardest because I've been in the school for 12 years, and no matter what I say, I will not be able to do my memories justice. I have been in the school from the time the only thing we carried in our school bags was snack boxes and some lunch boxes and then some more snack boxes. To IB, where our school bag, hands and legs were not sufficient to carry all our books and laptop. Not only were the 12 years the most fun days of my life, but also I learned so much, and I want to share some of that with you today. Firstly, the most important and integral part of life is food. My wonderful class taught me a lot of things. And one of them was, there's no such thing as a five second rule. It's known as a one minute rule. This means that if food has fallen on the floor for less than one minute, it can still be consumed. We have behaved like we have never seen food before. Secondly, when I was writing the speech, I was wondering, what sets our class apart? What makes us so different from the others? And that is the fact that on numerous occasions, we have displayed our affinity for magic. We are who we are because of the people in our lives. Our wonderful teachers helped us to get past our boys are disgusting phase in the fifth grade. And most importantly, have ensured we are learners for life. The heads and teacher of teachers have allowed us to think and be curious. No matter how much I thank each and every one of you, it will never be enough. 
we have grown up together. And if I had to go through the whole school process again, all the tests, the exams, the drama, I would, because you all made it so worthwhile. So be inspired and be inspiring always. So whether it's reading a book, don't ever be bored and waste your talent. Now that we are 18, it is our job to parent ourselves and we have to do the things we don't want to do to become everything we're supposed to become. And lastly, thank you to the school and the people who have taught me to never give up on food, magic, laughter, and friends. Thank you. On 7th April, 2003, as the first student to walk through the gates of DAIS, I had no inkling that 12 years later, as the school head boy, I would be making the graduation address. Let me assure you, Neeta ma'am, that the seeds of values sown by you in our impressionable minds have taken strong roots and will continue to be the anchors of our future lives. Ma'am, as we witnessed you bowing before every mic and instrument, before every stage performance, you taught us unforgettable lessons in faith and humility. Through those 10 p.m. annual day rehearsals and countless takes of the graduation walk, thank you, ma'am. Manifestation is indeed a function of attention and intention. We realized that dreams come true at the intersection of ability and opportunity. My heartfelt privilege to have the honor of addressing you today. Looking back, our generation can be termed as a witness to the history of modern India, born as we were at the cusp of India's dream to greatness. With economic reforms, there began an era of opportunity, ambition, and wealth. And India needed a new system of education to fulfill its changing aspirations. With its establishment in 2003, DAIS took the lead in synthesizing the best of global education with traditional Indian values. Having spent 12 years of my life here, I have witnessed the enormous efforts taken by our school to inculcate values in us, which I feel is the stellar contribution of our school. Schools are much more than physical structures. They form the foundations of our personality and shape our lives in unfathomable ways. One does not leave one's school. One lives it as a day-to-day -day experience. The care that our school showers on students with special needs and the effort that our school puts in to achieve perfection for all events and programs are some of the timeless lessons of success that we have learned to internalize. The class of 2015 is a talent house of budding robotists, bloggers, poets, writers, mathematicians, physicists, and economists, all groomed to value inclusion and social sensitivity. As your head boy, on behalf of the class of 2015, I promise to propagate this powerful message of enterprise grounded in ability. It is also time to leave home. Thank you, parents, for your unconditional support. Thank you for cheering us on sports day, applauding us on annual day, staying up late to review our university applications, and for letting us go to chase our dreams. Class of 2015, you are the champions of your own destiny and the writers of your own story. Create your own masterpiece. Every brush stroke yields an ever dynamic, scintillating and timeless possibility for those who dare to dream and learn to excel. Ride to the horizons and beyond. Destiny is yours to mold. Thank you. <laughs>